Which poison frog is more toxic? Got him. Coyote's not the only one who bleeds. What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins. Today we're back in Costa Rica for another special adventure brought to you by our friends at B&H Photo. And I'm particularly excited for today's adventure because we are looking for one of my all-time favorite land animals, the poison frog. And not just one poison frog, two poison frogs. The strawberry poison frog and my personal favorite, the green and black poison frog. And the reason I wanna find and present these frogs to you today is because I wanna talk about just how toxic and dangerous these frogs really are and Mario is going to give a special demonstration on how we get those really cool macro shots of a small creature like a poison frog. But first things first, we have to find some. Today we're going to search just around our lodge here because this whole site is full of bromeliad plants and those are perfect breeding habitats for these species of frogs. So they tend to hang out pretty close by. As a matter of fact, I hear one right now. I'm going to film on the GoPro, you guys follow me, and with any luck, we're going to catch two frogs really quickly. Okay, I think what I heard was actually the strawberry poison frog, also called the pamelio. And I heard it coming from right over here. Oh, there he was. I saw him right there. I'm gonna try to not disturb the habitat too much. Ah, and this one might have gotten away. So the frogs do have burrows in these masses and they have really great escape routes. They're particularly hard to catch too because they jump with a non-rhythmic motion, which means uh, they don't really have any synchronization at all to the way they hop. That was our first miss, but we did see a strawberry poison frog there. Let's keep looking. We are in the right spot. So these frogs are terrestrial. So what we're looking for are low hanging branches and leaves that they can find cover around. And that's typically where you find these poison frogs. Oh. Got one, got one. There he is. Oh, I fell. Don't move, don't move, it's right here. I'm gonna let it work its way out. I'm gonna go for the grab. Ready, got a shot. Got him. Woo, ha <laughs> ha. All right, ready for this? Here we go. Strawberry poison frog, we got one. All right, that's part one of two of today's adventure. Next up, the green and black poison frog which is a little bit more difficult to catch than this one. So for now, let's, uh, let's get a container. I'm going to make a little micro habitat for this frog for a little bit, some cover so it feels comfortable. There we go. All right, let's go find a green and black poison frog. All right, good news, bad news. The good news is we caught the first frog we we're after today, the strawberry poison frog, and a really good one too. The bad news is we're in the rainforest and that means sometimes it's gonna rain. And there is a rainstorm coming in right now, so we're gonna let this shower pass by. There is a little blessing in disguise. This moisture is probably gonna bring out some of the frogs we're looking for. So all we have to do is wait a little while, and then we'll be back at it trying to find the green and black poison frog. All right, taking a quick break. So the rainstorm has passed by, which is good news. Also good news because all of a sudden, the rainforest has come to life. We're hearing tons of frogs calling right now. Can you hear that? I can hear about six or seven different species distinctively right now that I wasn't hearing before. So this is a really good sign that we may come across that green and black poison frog a little sooner than we thought. Now, the call of the strawberry poison frog is a little more distinct and a little louder. It's like a rip, 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 rip kind of sound. The uh, green and black poison frog is a duller kind of and it's definitely a lot less audible. So we're gonna have to listen as we search along this edge. So unlike the uh, strawberry poison frog, which I was able to sneak right up on and catch, the green and black poison frog is definitely more elusive and shy. So I'm gonna have to be looking a lot further ahead than the other species. I've actually never caught a green and black poison frog myself. So this is a pretty special day for me. This is my absolute favorite species of poison frog. I've been obsessed with these creatures since I was in third grade. Um, and this is really a dream come true to be out here today in Costa Rica, finally getting hands on with one of my favorite animals, if I'm lucky. Okay, nothing here. Let's keep moving this way. Wait a second. I heard one. It's gone. So faint, I heard it for just a second. Let's move over this way. 
There's one. Where? Big one. Right there. It's right here. One. Yep. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Got him. <laughs> oh man. All right. I don't want to lose him. Let's go back over here. This is a big deal. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> no. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's get away. Oh man. This is a big moment. My first ever green and black poison frog. Look at that. I have been dreaming of this moment since I was nine years old. Look at how beautiful that frog is. Now we have both poison frogs that we want to take a closer look at today. Let's put this one in a container and take a look at both species side by side. Coyote's not the only one who bleeds. I bleed blood. That whole bush that I just caught the poison frog in is full of uh, spotty plants. Ouch. Woo! Okay. Well, there we have it. Poison frog versus poison frog. We are going to take a quick look at the differences between these two species before we get into the macro photography. So first things first, it's pretty obvious that we have a size difference here. The strawberry poison frog is more often than not a lot smaller than the green and black poison frog. We can also notice they have very distinct coloration differences. And I have to say, look at how beautiful these two poison frogs are. They truly are the jewels of the rainforest. Now, they don't just look this way to impress us. There's actually a reason why these frogs display the colorations that they do. This is what's called aposomatic coloration, which is a warning sign to predators that says, don't eat me, because if you do, you're gonna eat a whole mouthful of toxins that I have in my skin. Now, we're gonna get to how toxic these two creatures are in just a minute, but before we do, let's talk about a couple other differences in behavior. So they parent in very different ways. The strawberry poison frog, which genus is Ophega, which means egg eater, actually takes their tadpoles once they're hatched out of the egg, deposit them in a small reservoir of water. This can be in a bromeliad plant, this can be in an empty coconut husk, this can be in a hollowed out log. And once the tadpoles are in there, the female will go and deposit unfertilized eggs to feed their offspring. And this is the primary food source for these tadpoles until they reach maturity and become frogs. With the green and black poison frog, their parenting is a little bit different. The male will actually carry the tadpoles on its back to a water reservoir like a bromeliad or a hollowed out log, and they will deposit the tadpoles at different times. Now, because of this, the tadpoles have different stages of maturity, and while they are good parents, they're not the greatest brothers and sisters because these tadpoles unfortunately often cannibalize each other for resources because unlike the strawberry poison frog, which feeds on eggs from its parents, the green and black poison frog is completely reliant on its surroundings. So it's gonna eat other insect larvae, algae, and mites that might crawl around the surface. Time to answer the question you've all been waiting for. Let's talk about the toxicity of these two poison frogs. Which one is more toxic? The short answer is, it's pretty hard to tell. But for human beings, both of these species are considered, get this, non-threatening. And that's exactly why I'm able to hold both of these and present them for you here today. All I need to do after this presentation is wash my hands with soap and water, and I'm going to be just fine. Now, that being said, there are varieties of poison frogs in South America that are potentially dangerous and even deadly to human beings. And we're actually gonna be going on a trip to Colombia later this year to try to find some of those. So while neither of these frogs are potentially threatening to human beings, they are both very toxic for their would-be predators. So I think we've taken a pretty good look at both of these little gems of the rainforest. And now it's time for Mario to step in and show us some of the cool tricks of the trade and how we get those awesome macro shots with some of our specialty lenses. Mario, you ready to step in? All right, let's do it. Okay, cool. Okay, so we had to make a quick move there because the sun started to come out. And uh, believe it or not, despite being toxic, these frogs are actually very, very fragile. So for the well-being of the frog, we wanted to move to the shade. And that being said, Mario, how do we get these macro shots? We're gonna be using this setup right here, which is the new Canon EOS R and our favorite lens, the macro 100 millimeter Canon L series. So in order to get these really tight shots, uh, a few things have to be in our favor, light and stability. So we like to use a nice sturdy tripod in order to get the stability we need in low light conditions. One of the reasons why we really love 
this 100 mil macro lens is because of its amazing image stabilization. A lot of times we may not have the most heavy duty tripod and we have to use lightweight gear. So that extra image stabilization is critical. So I'm gonna start recording. We've got this dual pixel autofocus, which means any little movement will actually be tracked. Now, unfortunately there is some movement in just holding this animal. It is very hard to keep still, but as you can see, we're already achieving that really fine detail that macro photography actually will allow. So how am I doing? Am I staying steady enough for you? You're pretty steady, but I think we are done with this guy. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the green and black. Okay, cool. Now time for the all-star. My personal favorite, the green and black poison frog. Man, nine-year-old Mark would be very, very pleased with how today's going. In, in the world of macro, uh, we went from the little strawberry dart frog to this one. Mm -hmm. This is bigger. So now I have to actually adjust a little bit, at least for the distance. Uh, we wanna get kind of its entire body in frame. That blue shirt with this contrast of the green and black looks really nice. Thank you, Mario. I'll take that as a compliment. It's amazing you could actually see its respiration. Beautiful. So macro photography is definitely a team effort, especially in a situation like this where you have one person holding a specimen and one person getting the video. Great thing about these cameras, of course, is you could also get your still images from them. Okay, got both frogs back in hand. Mario, you ready to get the thumbnail? Yeah. And since this episode is a comparison of two of our favorite species of poison frog, we're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison for the thumbnail. Let's, let's get a green background. Man, what an awesome day. Catching a strawberry poison frog is always a great day, but I have to say for myself, finding and catching my very first green and black poison frog was truly a special moment. So thank you for being here, Mario. That was Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. And I do want to say a special thank you to B&H Photo for sponsoring this adventure. And here's some good news. They put together some awesome gear and deal packages just for our audience. So if you go to www.bhphoto.com forward slash brave right now, you can take advantage of those deal offerings and get outside and make videos like we do. Yeah. And don't forget, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can join us on our next adventure. All right, starting to rain. Better, yeah. better wrap it up. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm Mario Decoa. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let him go. Thanks for hanging out. All right, see you later. <laughs>